All right, so today in the basement, we're gonna be working in this area, which is where the bar or mini kitchen, whatever you wanna call it, is gonna be. It butts up to where the bathroom is. This is where the movie theater is, just for reference. So in this area, you can see over here where James went ahead and started out. He got our plumbing and water lines ran and ready to go. So that is where the sink is gonna be, but we're gonna build right now the wall because on the outside of this is gonna be a wall with the bar. And then on the inside of it, it's gonna be lower down where the cabinets are in the countertops. So that is what we are working on now. James already has our two by fours cut. So he is gonna to get to building. Yep. Heading back downstairs here because I hear a bunch of noise in the basement with James. So we shall see what his progress is. And there it is. So it's simple, but it'll be perfect. This will be like an L-shaped bar. And then on the inside of that will be the cabinets. This is 42 inches tall. That leaves an inch of height that we can add by adding a granite countertop or whatever we choose to bring it up to the 43 inch bar height. Here it is from this angle. We do need to put another two by four here, but we ran out. So we'll add that in later. So in here is where we're gonna have the cabinets and we're gonna do, what's the inch of the cabinets gonna be that comes out? We're just gonna do 22 inches. It's like the same size as a vanity, not necessarily a kitchen cabinet. Yeah, so they're gonna be a little bit smaller because kitchen cabinets obviously come out further, but we wanted this area to have a lot in a little space. So that's why we're doing the 22 inch cabinets like in a bathroom. Okay, what's next? Well, I'd like to set my receptacles in place so I can go ahead and get a piece of drywall on this. Once I get the drywall on, I'm gonna go ahead and put in the valves for all of the plumbing and test it before I completely cover all this up, make sure there's no leaks. Okay, so electric and water next. He's just adding in random pieces of two by fours all over the place for drywall catches. And so, look at here, how he cut that one around the pipe. We're doing a lot of that to make it work. And he got all the electric ran. If you see here, he just drilled holes through all the two by fours and ran it through. We're gonna have an outlet here, and then an outlet there, and an outlet here. Well, I am currently headed, oh my gosh, there's a bunch of deer in our backyard where I'm going actually. I'll show you here in a second, but I'm outside and I'm heading to our trailer that we have in our backyard here by the sawmill because there's a bunch of random lumber on there because we are completely out of two by fours and I think we might have some on that trailer. So we're going to go check, but let me show you the deer first. That's the trailer that I need to get to. Bye, dear. Well, I found some lumber out here on our little trailer behind the house. This is where we put kind of scrap lumber to use for random projects from the sawmill. And we can use these for drywall catches. And I think these one inch boards will work too. So we'll take them in. Got some drywall in. Went ahead and left this cut out right here. That way I can open up a cabinet here and look in there and monitor anything or work on anything. So a little bit of access. Um, once we put the cabinets here, you won't be able to see it.
All right, he got so much work done these past five hours while the boys and I were outside cooking dinner, eating dinner, all the usual stuff. So we'll let him catch us up to everything that he did today. Starting with, you can see over here, he put that piece of drywall back in. So now we just gotta tape it, of course, but that is in. Yeah, I've already rewired everything here. That's why we put the drywall back. Um, next thing is go ahead and show them the dark area here. Okay. The next cool thing that I've done. <gasps> I got some smart switches installed. Nice. Now, right now, there are only three lights in here, and that's for trial, but there's going to be eight in this room and some in the hallway and then some over the bar. So there's gonna be a lot more light. So it doesn't look very bright li right now, but it will be when it's done. Yeah. So uh, go ahead and come over here. Okay. Do you see how dark it is over there? The camera doesn't show it very well, but yes, it's very see. dark. You can tell. Oh yeah, see, and then you just uh, hit this button right here. And you hit that, bam. And so these are not the permanent lights that are here. These are just the lights that we already had, but they're now controlled on these switches. Babe, do you want to describe the smart switches? Because these are pretty daggone cool. This is Lutron brand, and that's a dimmer switch. So you can get, there's like a bunch of different kinds. It took me a while to figure them out. This one is a pro model. And I wanted this to be a pro model because it actually allows you to have a mechanical three-way switch on the other side. They advertise these two switches as three-way, but technically it's not. It's wireless. So you wire it as a single pole, you hook it to your bridge, you can use these remotes in a second location. And literally you, oh. can, you can tape them to the wall or they give you a little box you can mount it in and use it like another switch. It's upside down. So okay. it's kind of weird, but being that I already had a three-way circuit there, I wanted to reuse it. I wired everything for it, so I went ahead and bought the Pro model. So today I got all the electric kind of switched over. I had to shut everything down and kind of flop everything to what we want the, the basement, how, how we want it to be wired. Yeah, because we had all of these old school lights in the basement to keep it lit, but now we have the correct lights. Yeah. And that as, will be in as here. I swipped, swapped them over, I reused um, the wiring and some of the lights. So we actually got a light switch here now for in here. Yay, because before we had like 10 light bulbs down here and everything was controlled with one switch. You switched it on, all the basement lights came on, but now everything is separate. Okay, let's go over to the bathroom. Yep, so we got a light in here for now. Nice. Uh, I just temporarily put this porcelain one in here. These are all stuff that we just had left over from the house. So I went ahead and gave us some light here but it's nice to have it all on separate light switches. I yeah. love it. Leave that light on so I can show the bathroom. Cause I finally got it swept out. You can see in here for the longest time we had that board there. He got that cut out today. Just got a lot of random stuff done. I'll be, uh, I'll be drywalling the rest of this tomorrow. Sweet. I, I wanted to run the rest of my wire before I- Yeah, we didn't have the wire for this switch, but when he decommissioned all of the cheap Builder lights we put in over here today and reuse all this wire, then we had the wire to put that switch in, which is, as James calls it, the fart fan and the light. Okay. Yeah. Also today over here, he finished all of this, made sure that everything was tight and he dumped through, golly, I don't even know how much water. How many gallons of water do you think you put through that thing? Uh, not that much. I just ran the water to make sure nothing was leaking. I and we're good. I wanted to make sure these weren't leaking, which they were. So I, I basically got this pipe dope, which I should have used to begin with. I, I didn't learn my lesson the last time this happened. Um, Teflon tape is terrible. I don't have good luck with it ever, but that stuff, I never have issues with it. So you had a little leak today, but then you put this on it and it fixed it. Yep. Sweet. But yeah, when I came down here after he had already fixed the leak, he was dumping tons of water down here. Nothing leaked, not a drop anywhere. So knock on wood, hopefully we don't have any problems. Like switch here, here. Too in the closet. Oh, excellent. Okay. And again, this will be concrete board because we're going to tile that, of course. All right. And Got then. Beads installed here. Oh, yeah. 
starting to slowly get the stuff up to finish the drywall. I'm hoping by the end of the day, Sunday, that I have uh, all my joints taped. Okay. And then let's come over here and look at the bar area. That's really gonna be nice. I love it. The drywall turned out perfect. And then the back there's where the extra storage room will be and that's where the light switch is on the other side of that bathroom that he was just showing you. Oh, it looks magnificent. Oh, we still gotta drywall this wall. Yeah, Beep. probably won't drywall that until we get this wall in and I'm probably not gonna drywall the rest of that until we get this wall in, so. Okay. So far, the drywall that you see is st extended here is gonna be our kind of our phase one build. Okay. I'll finish it to where it is now. All right. Okay, so obviously lots of progress on the basement, mainly being done by James. But anyway, I think that's a wrap for the day. We will show some more stuff in the basement up close here in these next few videos and give you some more detail and information about the exact products that we used because I really like this stuff. Yeah, so we'll kind of explain that later. Oh, yeah. Did you see behind me how the lights dimmed? That's awesome. Oh, put it back on the light. It's a dimmer switch, and that's all controlled by James's phone, so you don't ever have to even touch them. It's pretty cool. 